what's up guys how's everyone doing welcome back to another video first things first let's just address the elephant in the room i know it has been a minute since i have uploaded a video for those of you that don't follow me on instagram you might not know this but back in april i actually dislocated my knee at work and um, it's been a journey it's been a journey trying to get it to heal and um, then having to rehab it and whatnot i'm actually still walking on crutches so it's kind of hard for me to do videos or do anything to the challenger really but um, i am starting to recover i am starting to feel a little bit better i'm able to take baby steps without crutches so i'm getting there but you know i'm not 100 percent there yet now that that's out of the way let's go ahead and get into the topic of today's video and that's going to be five reasons why someone might actually buy a challenger sxt over something let's say like an rt a scat pack or a hellcat now reason number one and that's going to be the main reason why someone might buy an sxt over an rt so on and so forth is going to be the affordability of this car so the sxts are the entry level trim when it comes to the challenger and um, that being said it's going to be the cheapest now base price without any options i believe these cars start off a little around uh, twenty seven thousand dollars now that is very affordable uh, you know most people can't afford that with their normal budget now my specific challenger costs about thirty two thousand dollars and that is the sxt with the optional blacktop package now that is definitely more affordable than the sxt's v8 counterparts um, prime example is whenever i went to go get this car um, i really did want the rt and they had an rt plus there and um, that one had a couple other options i believe it had the it was the plus package it was the blacktop package and i believe it might have had the driver convenience package but um, they wanted forty seven thousand dollars for that one and they were firm on the price they would not budge so this was definitely more affordable than the rt reason number two that someone might actually consider getting the sxt over the v8 counterpart is going to be the fuel economy now everybody knows that v8s love to eat the gas now with the sxt you get the 3.6 liter v6 motor and the fuel economy is a lot better in this car i know some people that are averaging 30 plus miles per gallon in their sxts now me since i'm a little bit heavier on the gas pedal i usually average anywhere between 25 to 28 miles per gallon but that is still a lot better than um, some of the things i've heard about the v8s where they're getting anywhere from about 10 to 13 miles per gallon the third reason why someone might actually consider getting the SXT is going to be the fact that it is available in all-wheel drive. Starting in 2019, Dodge began rolling out the all-wheel drive drivetrain for the SXTs. Now, prior to that, it was only exclusive to the GT models, but now you can actually get it in the SXT models. Now, to most people, that might not seem like something that's really important. That might not be a selling point to some people. But for people that live, you know, like more up north in the country or anywhere around the world where, you know, you get a lot of snow and they end up salting the roads, that might actually be something that is important to you. For a lot of people that live up north or anywhere where it snows a lot, um, you know, let's say you have an RT or a scat pack or a Hellcat or something like that. Um, come winter time, whenever it starts snowing, they start salting the roads. Most people are going to have to put their car away because um, either they're not going to be able to drive it because the rear wheel drive won't be able to, uh, you know, it's not safe and you might not be able to drive it on the roads. But with the SXT and you have the all wheel drive, you'll be able to drive this all year round, no problem. And that is something that most people will consider if you live in those kind of climates. Reason number four, somebody might consider the SXT is going to be the styling of this vehicle. Now there's no doubt about it that the Dodge Challenger is one of the most iconic American made cars that there is. With that being said, a lot of people love the look and the styling of this vehicle. So if you are in the market and you're shopping for a vehicle and you see the price of this car and you see the styling of it, that's gonna be one thing that draws a lot of people to this vehicle. Now, unlike a lot of other auto manufacturers, the Challenger pretty much is the same car through and through with all their different trim models. What I mean by that is, you know, the Hellcat is the top of the trim level and that is one badass car, but you don't have to pay that premium price to get that kind of styling. The SXT still has the general appearance inside and out as the Hellcat or Scat Pack or an RT. So you don't have to feel left out if you were to get a lower trim model vehicle. 
Now, reason number five that I think some people might consider the SXT is the overall community that is built around these vehicles. Now, it's widely known that Mopar has one of the best car communities that there is. I mean, there's countless fan pages, there's countless groups, car groups, uh, you know, just the overall community around Mopar is amazing. There are also communities built specifically around the V6 Mopars. Now, you know, a lot of the VA guys will bash on the V6 Mopars. I'm pretty sure if you scroll down to the comments of this vehicle, there might already be some people that are bashing the V6. But the V6 has a community built around it where we all uplift one another and, you know, we all share, you know, positive vibes and encouraging words to one another because whether you do have a V6 or a V8, at the end of the day, it's still a Mopar and it's still a badass vehicle. Now, there you have it. Those are five reasons why someone might actually consider getting the SXT Challenger. If you have a V6 Challenger or just a V6 Mopar in general, leave a comment down below letting us know why you chose that over something with the V8. Now, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, be sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Those links will be in the description down below. And until my next video, take care and be safe. Peace.